Sunday's game in Los Angeles is a homecoming for Uchenna Nwosu, who grew up in California and played his entire football career there until this season. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily and a look at one of the key playmakers on defense who started his professional career with the Chargers after playing his college ball at USC. It's going to mean a lot, you know, going back home, being able to play in front of my family and my friends like I've done, you know, my whole entire athletic career, sports career, you know, so looking forward to seeing my family and my friends support me in that stance. The 2018 second round pick is coming into his own. He set career highs with the Chargers last season and is on pace to blow those numbers out of the water. I feel like I've been making a lot more plays here than I did there. I mean, you know, I'm doing better. I'm playing better. My production is just continuously getting better, and I'm happy to be here. Uchenna has already racked up 24 tackles this season, compared to 39 all of last year in L.A. His team-high three sacks are more than half of the five total sacks recorded last season. He is uh, talking about a pleasant surprise. Um, we knew he's a good football player when I say surprise, but he's been even more to us than, you know, it's like some of those things when you watch him on tape and you, and evaluate the player, you know you're getting a good football player. But then when he gets in your building, you get a chance to coach him, get hands on him, meet with him, uh, see how he processes information, and you start to learn more. And uh, just really, really sharp and detailed guy, consummate professional. And uh, some of the things that we do with giving the guys on the edge the freedom um, to play inside and outside as a nine technique and whatnot and free him up, just, it was a new world for him because he was never allowed to do that. It was evident to the Seahawks back in training camp that he could handle the freedom. It was obvious in week one that he was a playmaker when he earned NFC Defensive Player of the Week honors. And as each week goes on, the full extent of his talents are felt by opposing teams. He has a really good sense for the game. I mean, he's a ball player. And so the, the thing I've tried to do with him from the, as soon as we started to realize that is free him up, you know, take the liberties. You have the liberties to go. And that's not everybody that we've coached like that. You know, some guys you do, some guys you don't. You're going to hold him back if you don't. And so that's what I felt. He's, he's having a good time playing and he likes the way we're doing it. And, and uh, he's still just getting going. Yeah, I guess it is a vote of confidence. You can say when the coach says, you know, do whatever you got to do to make a play, you know, basically. So I'm like, all right, shoot, I'll do it. So, you know, uh, shout out to Pete for giving me that freedom. And I'm going to just keep, you know, trying to get better every week. Geno Smith has seen the growth not just this season, but going back to Ochenna's rookie year, the one season Geno spent with the Chargers. I, I remember uh, Chenna's rookie year. We were in the playoffs. He, uh, you know, he got a strip sack, sealed the game for us in our first playoff game. And uh, he's doing the same thing now, man. That's who he is. He's a playmaker, explosive off the edge. Uh, I remember watching him at USC and being impressed with him and like, who's this number 42 out there? And then getting a chance to play with him and, and, and being with him a second time. Um, he's a pro's pro, plays hard every play. He's a leader and uh, just an explosive guy off the edge, guy you want on your team. The only downside for Uchenna this year might be the Seahawks schedule and two trips to L.A. That means getting tickets for a lot of family and friends. He joked this week that one kind of hurts in the pocketbook just a little bit.